What sort of problems are you dealing with right now in your life? And when, it, when I say what sort of problems, I mean, are you dealing with problems of not enough or are you dealing with problems of too much of something? Whenever in life you have a situation where you feel like there's not enough of something, you're not making enough money, you're not meeting enough new people, your fitness is just not proving enough, you're not thinking in the right mindset, the 10x mindset. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to switch mindsets and immediately, not in five years, not in five months, not in five weeks, immediately switch the way that your mind thinks and switch the actual problems in your life, the situations that arise in your life. So whenever you're dealing with any situation in life or whenever you're faced with any challenge, there's two ways to think through that challenge. The first way is with adding and dividing. Sorry, adding and removing. So for example, I'm currently making, let's say $2,500 a month and I wanna get myself to make more. So I think I wanna add, add another $500 and that's going to get me to 3000 So that's one way to think about problems in your life. I want more in adding. The second way to think about problems in your life is through multiplication. And also through dividing. What does this mean? In this situation, let's say I'm in the exact same position and I make only 2,500 a month. Now I'm thinking I wanna take that and I wanna three times it, which means I wanna get it to 7,500. What do I have to do to get it from here to here? When you're thinking and multiplying, things in your life change. Your situations start changing but also in dividing, because let's say there's something in your life that you want to crush, you want to just destroy something, you can also divide it. So let's say that you have a, a big debt. Let's say that you're in $50,000 of debt. One way to think about it is the average way, which is how do I remove it slowly? How do I remove $200 every month until it ends? The, the better way, the more the 10x way, the way that you take if you want to really move fast and be successful in life, is by massive action and by squashing it, just making it go away as fast as you can in as little time as possible using multiplication and dividing, which means, let's say again, you're in $50,000 of debt. How do I get out of it? You can take out $200 every month or you can reach a situation where you multiplied your income out of it. So you multiplied your income to a state where you're no longer even fearing that debt, where you can easily close it without thinking about it. This is the right way. This is the right type of mindset that you want to have whenever you face anything in your life. If you want to increase your income, again, think in multiplication. You want to have more friends. Don't think, how can I get one or two more friends? Think, how can I double, triple, quadruple, 10x the amount of friends I have in my life? If you want to be in better fitness, don't think, how can I add, lose three pounds? Or how can I improve my fitness a bit? Think, how can I three times my fitness? How can I make my fitness 10 times better? than it currently is. And when you're thinking in those levels, what happens is it turns from scarcity into abundance. So to this, up, up until this point, your leverage was against you. So for every degree of action you took, you got less in results because you thought small. So the way you, you experience life, the way you experience problems is always a lack. It's always hard to push forward. When you start thinking in multiplications, the biggest problem you're going to have is not how to get more money. It's not how to make more sales. It's what do I do with all these extra sales? It's how do I increase staff as fast as possible to take care of all the incoming traffic that I'm getting? This is the real 10x style of thinking, and you can apply to any single situation in your life. If you want specific examples, if you want to have a better uh, response for me, Feel free to tell me your life situation. Feel free to tell me in the comments where you're struggling at the moment. 
and I'll be very happy to help you. But just as a personal example, I'm very much into business, so I'll use this as my example. I was in a situation a few years ago where I was only growing by adding into my income. So my income started out at $1,500, and then went up to $2,000, and then $2,500, and then $3,000, and it just increased in additions. And that was a problem for me because I always wanted more. I always felt like I'm not living up to my real potential. When I started thinking in multiplications, I started thinking in percentages. How do I get a percentage of the income of a big company that I'm working with? How do I get percentages by creating a system that's going to multiply itself? Instead of adding one new client every time, I'm improving the system and the system will get twice as many clients by using, again, systems and not just approaching people randomly or approaching a business without a solid system plan. So. Once I started thinking in multiplications, everything started changing. I no longer had to worry about money. I no longer had to worry about increasing my income. That happens naturally when you think in multiplications. And that's how you create those miracles where you begin the year making $10,000 and you end it making $100,000. It's only by thinking big, thinking in multipliers, and taking some risk that is actually less risk rather than just using the addition. Because again, think you're adding Think of a situation where you're only adding income. What happens if suddenly there's a crash, something really bad happens, huge competition, some, some bad situation. You, da- you didn't build enough safety. You didn't build enough abundance yet to sustain it. So any strong problem will basically squash your business. And so this is why the safe route is always to multiply, to so take more action, 10 times more action, think 10 times bigger, and increase your problems from problems of not enough to problems of too much. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.